Uh, you know, significant behavioral needs. And so, you know, we would continue with the 100% reimbursement for the group home kids. You know, in, yeah, and just another comment. I, I'm just, again, I'm continuing to look at the assumptions over time and without an assumption on a reduction in Xbox contribution, I don't know what that would be. I don't trust it that it would, it would go down. But I, I'm still in our district currently looking at it. $200,000 increase, so is Chino. Um, and, and I think each district has to look at their own scenario. I think you have to look at your own potential for risk. And um, be a representative of the district, I guess. Well, and I know you clearly, um, you know, if you look at our non public school placements, other than the very young autistic kids who uh, are costly at that end, at the preschool end, uh, the majority of our non public school placements are for kids in high school. And, you know, I mean, if a child has significant behavioral problems, uh, you know, as they mature, become more physically capable, the risk and liability of having them on a campus uh, increases. Uh, also, we see the risk, the incidence of mental illness um, and placements, you know, related to uh, mental illness uh, increase at the high school age. So it definitely does affect, um, you know, Juno and Chafee because they have the highest number of uh, high school age students. Um, you, know, I okay. think, you know, there could be an adverse effect if nothing was done to uh, go ahead and find alternative placements for those. And I know both Juno and Chafee are, uh, the directors are working to look at some options. Um, Chafee, I know, is, uh, years ago started their CSOP program and have diverted some of their non-public school placements there and they're looking at um, trying to bring back some of their autistic kids. Uh, you know, Gino is saying as um, you know, they look at some program alternatives and are looking at bringing back some of their ED kids so uh, you know, through a school site program. Yeah. What I'm hearing you say is kind of my question see the a reduction in coverage, so to speak, but there's no corresponding reduction in what our bill is going to be, the XPOC contribution? Yes, your XPOC contribution would go down. How much? And, and I don't know, Kathleen, you have... Um, and, and that's what I kind of talked about a little bit earlier. It's, it, it will go down based, if, if we go, if the shift no, just goes from the XPOC picking up 30%, and now the X pots only going to pick up 20% of those non-due process cases. Okay. What's going to happen is there's going to be less that the X pot is going to have to cut. So it's going to be 10% less of that of the probably six seven million dollars in non-public school agency costs. So what's going to happen is and once this is is finalized. If we're going to go this way because we're really kind of looking more constantly because it affects districts very differently. And you'll see if it's if it's affecting you where it's costing more, then the other districts have been supplementing. We did and, and so it's, it's kind of going back and forth with that. But what's going to happen, one thing that's going to affect the X part, and this is going to be an item next month, is the decrease in, in um, ADA. If there was no change in this as it is right now, there would be an increase to the X pot today because we've lost two, almost 2,088. So we have to so touch it down to So that has to be Each district is going to have to make up that contribution. So it's, it's going to end up decreasing. Your X pot contribution will do, decrease because the amount that the X pot is going to be paying is going to be less. But we won't know the exact. Yeah, how much? It's, it's about ten dollars per ADA. In, in the scenario, when I when I did the new scenario, it said this is where we are today, and we have that same exact same scenario. Not going to be next year. Not doing anything different. No. I'm sorry.
So um, we have we have a motion and a second on the floor. I don't think we did. No, we don't. We don't have. Yeah. Right, so can we make a motion to table this? I like to make a motion to table and then we get the information that we've requested regarding to the impact on the long term. <coughs> Just to clarify, but because there is going to be a 2,000 drop in ADA, use that in a scenario. Start with what your projected ADA will be, and then carry that out. Over. I think we're asking okay. for all that to be factored in. And, and we understand that some of this is going to be, you know, I hate to use the word guesswork, but, but, but that's kind of what it's going to be for the moment. But at least it would give some sense of what the impact would be like this year. And John, I think that would be important because we know what the real numbers are there because you're doing that. Because we, won't, we don't want any surprise results and that's not there in this calculation and later on it is. Exactly, because you can't compare apples to apples if you're looking at your contribution this year with next year because we've got that loss of 2008. Right. And what you know today is what we want to know. And what, and what we'll have, what, what I'll need to do is I'll need to get projections. If, we're, if, I'm, if I'm going to do an analysis all the way through 13, 14, I'm going to need ADA projections for all of the districts for that amount of time. Well, we'll that in a multi-year projection. Right. Well, yeah. Even if you could just give us next year's numbers. I mean, we, we, is, that I what, I think, is that what we're looking for? Yeah. 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 That's what we're, that's what we've got to survive on. Is we're got to survive on. Okay, so then she's going to have to get numbers from the school districts in order to do that. And, and I just want to be clear when I'm going ahead and making these projections, I'm going to make them based on the current students that we have. The, our latest, we have a March um, projection that we did for this year. So I use those same projections for the years out because students are going to change, everything changes, so I'll use, that'll be the constant, and then only the ADA is going to change, and then I'll do the scenarios and spreading it out. Well, we know that it's a moving target all the yes. time. Yes. At least we got a better idea than to have that from that time. May I ask um, if there's any concerns regarding including um, ADR as part of the process and encouraging the use of um, alternatives to be resolution um, as part of the activity? 